Hello Aquarius, this is your daily read for July 14th. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. I hope you took advantage of that super full moon last night. Hope you did some affirmations, did some releasing. Welcome in some of that new stuff. Actually, welcome in all of that new stuff. It can be scary. <laughs> it can be scary, man. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Aquarius babies for today? Take what resonates, leave the rest, Aquarius. All right. We do have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the World. We have the Magician, the Empress, and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like... Um, and the bottom deck energy is the two of cups. I feel like there could be some kind of line of communication coming in. Um, with the five of cups, you might be in a state of when is this going to happen? Feeling a bit disappointed. Um, feeling as if things aren't going to come to light. But they are going to come to light. I feel like that there's going to be a very stabilizing conversation, something that's very grounding, something that's very mature, um, something that's very solid. Um, you could be debating back and forth, throwing ideas out to somebody, um, then throwing ideas back out to you. Like, there, there is some kind of co collaboration that's going on. This could be concerning business, love, home. Take it how it resonates for you. But this conversation is going to affect your world. It's going to affect your world in a positive way. There's a sense of completion. There's an end of a cycle coming. So it's like you are having these talks of negotiation with somebody. Um, we have the magician here. This is something that you've manifested. And when I say you've manifested it, you manifested it hard. We have the Empress right after the Magician. So this is a signifier to me that you have um, manifested something towards yourself. And it is now growing. The Empress is under her tree. She has her white rabbits. She is, you know, she's chilling. She's totally chilling. May not feel like that sometimes with the Five of Cups here, you know, but yeah. Everything is growing in her favor. And I feel like that this is something that you possibly don't know is working behind the scenes. We do have the Six of Pentacles. There is reciprocation going on. A lot of reciprocation. I'm giving to you. You're giving to me. We're going to do this. We're, we are going to be very abundant. We are going to put our best foot forward we have the two of cups here so the two the conversation turns from two of pentacles to two of cups it's like okay now that we have the foundation laid out now that we know what we're doing now that we're going to do this this and this let's talk about the real stuff how do you feel <laughs> it's like okay we got all that out the way how do you feel about me so with the Two of Cups, it's like you're having these conversations, very heartfelt conversations, connecting. Um, you're connecting, things are coming to light. I feel like especially after the Two of Pentacles, there could be, it could be kind of like a guarded uh, type of conversation because you're trying to set the foundation for something. So you're trying to set your boundaries. You're trying to let it be known, hey, I'm serious about this. You know, this is not to be fucked with, like on any level. And so you're serious. This is your world. This is something that you have to uh, be serious about. If nobody else is serious about it, you have to be. And so I do feel like that you're coming forward in a way of, let me show you how serious I am about this. And here's how much more serious I am about my boundaries. And so that's where all this took place. You know, your world is being built with somebody. So it's like you manifested this, you're growing this, you're making it happen. And they're on board. And that's the beautiful part of it. With the Six of Pentacles, they are actually on board. They're, they're on board with working with your, I'm not going to say demands, but they're, they're happy to be working with your boundaries. And they actually like seeing 
your boundaries. You know, they like seeing and respecting your boundaries. So with the Two of Cups, it's like, uh, you know what? We got that out the way. Now let me tell you how I feel. Now I can let my walls down a little bit more. I feel like that you're going to be connecting with somebody on a deeper level to where, you know, you're going to be talking about love. You're talking about uh, following your heart's desire. This could be you also reaching different levels with yourself. You know, you're you're reaching different levels of healing. You're reaching different levels of uh, completion and success. Let's find out what energies you have around you, Aquarius. Let's find out what energies is around Aquarius. What energies are around Aquarius? Eek. We have Gemini that's around you, possible Gemini, or somebody who embodies a Gemini, or they could be a little day and night, or they have Gemini in their chart. So have Scorpio, we have air that came out, and we also have Pisces. Bottom deck energy is Earth. So you could possibly be dealing with an Earth sign, an air sign, Gemini, Scorpio, or a Pisces. We also got fire in there too. So that's what I have for you today, Aquarius. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.